What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian on the third episode of the Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. So pretty much if you guys are new in here, this guide is to help you guys to be able to progress towards the Arbiter mission uh, and level your character using the minimum amount, well your account, with the, using the minimum amount of resources. Alright, so let's see where we left off. Okay. Alright, what do we have free? Free is always good in this game. Not much stuff is free. Small pack. Alright, so I just turned on day two of the game, as you guys can see. Just got me a, myself a book. That I gonna come to the tavern and upgrade as much as I can. Now, let me just explain if you guys are new, uh, you can actually use uh, epic books to level him, but it is a waste of resources. It will only upgrade one level, and you pretty much gonna have, as soon as you get your first epic or a main epic, I, I won't say a first epic because maybe garbage, but you will need those books later on. All right, Ascent, like I said, I have the resource, but I gotta wait for the mission that actually requires me to ascend him. What do I have here? Okay, so those things are things you should be doing pretty much every day. Check on quests, those two, keep it open for now, because you don't need those, those energy pots as of now. Get your dailies. Events, Dungeon Divers, what do I get? Alright, get some Arcane Potions, Tournaments, uh, this one's only on because we still have the pots, and where did we leave off? Alright, so clear stage 7 of Godfrey's Crossing on normal, okay, let's do it. All right, and this is complete. Let's go back. Campaign mission complete. Defeat 35 champions in Classic Arena. It's a cake. All right. Next mission, let's go. And mission complete again in just a few minutes. All right, so deal 500,000 damage to the Demon Lord go I can go to normal I already hit about 800 so this should be fine and let's do it all right 886 and one more mission completed win one frost or life steal from the dragon's lair stage three or higher should be able to get higher than that Let's just take Super Raids out, because I don't know if I'm going to win. You should. Boom, first try. There we go. Clear stage 7 of Hollywood Halls on normal. We're on the road, guys. Boom, another one bites the dust. And a new champion I don't care about. Now deuce, yeah, very meh. <laughs> Extremely meh. All right, Bastion. Whip two attacks with level 12 gauntlet boots, attack percentage, okay. So HP, attack, and attack. So I just need the uh, boots for him. Filter, boots, primary, attack percentage. Wow, that's it. Equip, upgrade. All right, so next mission, 
upgrade four champions to level 40. A little bit harder. Um, not so bad. So what are we going to be doing is... Um, we already have this one complete. For Bronze 2 on Classic Arena. And this one going to be Clear Stage 7 of Brimstone Path. So what we're going to do is... We're going to complete this mission first. To try to get this complete, right? Plus, for instance, uh, Path is the best place to actually level your characters. It doesn't matter if that's a normal, hard, brutal, or nightmare. Sure, uh, brutal is the best for leveling, but even on this case, it's not bad to use the, uh, even on the normal. So. That's what we're gonna do right now. Alright guys, so now we are in a position that for us to be able to keep clearing this way and faster without so many losses, we need to work on equipment right now. So let's take a look in what we have. Our main champions, at least for me, it's Ninja, Kyle. Kyle doesn't have too bad of equipment, but it needs some work. And where are we gonna find it? Well, we're going to drag. Because I want to try to get two things, speed and or bloodthirst gear. So let's go to Dragon Slayer. Let's run a few of those, try to get as much equipment as we can so we can pack a punch at this campaign to clear everything up. <coughs> I guess I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so I found that my location for farming right now is stage seven what is great because it is the last one using only 10 energy and i got a chance to get artifacts up to five stars so what i gonna do is ooh, 50 available multi battle i don't need those many i gonna put it to run 10 multi battles and take a look afterwards what i get All right, so not many decent pieces. I will right now, and, and that's something that's gonna happen a lot of times. If you're lucky, you get some decent pieces, you just jump straight in. Uh, in my case, so right now let's clear campaign on three star as much as I can this part. All right, so we're gonna take a pause on that fight and we're gonna go to the Bastion and since I already passed 24 hours, first let's get stuff that matters. All right, so since the past 24 hours already from the last promo code I used, let's come in here. Yearly gift. Confirm. There you go. Some multi battles that I'm gonna be keeping for now. Now, on last six days. So if you don't use on six days, it's gone. But I do get a four star chicken, ten brews, five hundred cane silver. I will hold on to that for a couple of days, but I do need to get this on the sixth day, or it's gone. All right. Let's click in here really quick because I believe I reached yes. So right here I'm actually getting some speed gear. Let's see if we can do something with it. Probably 
put on ninja. Okay, let's take a look. Level 2 8, see how that goes. By the way, uh, rare weapon, helmet, and shield. You really don't need to level above 8 because it will give you more stats, but not worth your silver. Let's do something I said to avoid doing. So I have 5 ancient shards. Forget about this for now. I'm don't want to pull any of those as of now, but let's try our luck with some mystery charts. Let's get some of those goodies that is completed. All right, so right now, since we need to start working on leveling and getting some of our champions to four stars. What are we going to do? We're going to complete this mission. So upgrade six common champions to level 10. We're going to come in here. We're going to use one brew. And one, two, three. Boom. Second one. Now, since I have a lot of those brews, and also the actually I have more force ones. One, one, two, three. One, one, two. Just sacrifice. So those are four right now. So I just need to come in here. Insert charts. Do the same to open some space. Actually, what I'm gonna do right now is upgrade rank. Boom. All right, four. Alright, so in this case I will use 120 silver. Because basically you will need slots for your champions. Now upgrade three common champions to level 20.
I'll use my Mr. Charge just in case I'm lucky enough to get something else. Let me use 10 more. And since I'm being itchy, I will open two Ancient Charges. Hopefully I get an Epic. If I do get an Epic, then much easier, less resource for me to level 40. Uh, let me go crazy. Let's get Ginyu. So, great nuker. Um, I could actually pick her. Queen Eva. Pretty, pretty good. Or Eosreed as well. Asleep, weaken. Alright. Let's go for Ginu. And this guy. Alright. Two. Counter Guard, not that great. I think I'll just open all five of them this time. Pathfinder kit, not too bad. Um, tax one enemy, put a block debuffs, block buffs, tax all enemies, increase cooldown for random skill, and hit the path, get a veil. Third one. Oh, rock tooth, horrible. Food, 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 food. Death Chanter, food. And let's get the more slots. I'll need them anyway. Now, in the beginning, be very careful with that. And Misericord, oh, Misericord. Attacks two times, attacks all enemies. Not that great of a champion. But I do need food right now. So my priority, this guy, so let's get him upgrade rank, want to sacrifice, that's fine, sacrifice him, and I'm gonna go the same route with Warpress. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, I should have saved them. Uh, by my own choice, I want. So, it's really up to you guys. Um, that's how I do. I rather clear that as fast as I can because that will help me to get more ancient charts faster. So, I don't mind sacrificing five of them. Okay. So now I just need to level. Do I have the option of leveling faster? Sure, I may actually do that. Um, saving resources is really good, but not something you have to do all the time. So I have 16. I feel if I use 8, I'll get to level 28. Sure, there you go. And I'll do the same thing for Armager. Reason why is make no sense for me to have one leveling faster than the other one. So I rather just use the same amount of brews for them. You could, in a way, use those different brews, but you only get half, about half of uh, the XP you would get if you get the correct ones. So skip this. Challenges, one done. One more done. Cool. <coughs> more events, some more rush. Not too bad. Getting 50 gems. Alright. Let's go back. Let's try to level some people. Probably since the farthest one I can go right now is here, Hollow with the House. Um, maybe not the best. I will actually step two down. 
to the Deadlands. And basically is so I can try to get War Maiden. I'll need her for a fusion. And she's actually pretty good in the arena and some other locations too. So if I get more than one, even better. And just to be a bit spiteful, just out of luck. Um, because honestly, you guys have to remember, using full sets of armor is pretty much, it's not a given. A lot of times it's better to use mismatched, but have the uh, what you actually need for a champion than get full sets, right? So I'm going to go straight here. I could go for shield, shield sells for more. Uh, my worry right now is not fully silver, so... Let me go for the boots. Okay. Let me go the full 30. Or... Yeah. Let me go 15 right now. Just let it run. Try to get the note 40. After that, mission is complete and I can go to the next stage. All right, so did get uh, War Maiden. What was great. Um, so I'm gonna stop in here. Not the video. But I'll stop in here. I'm level 30. I need to get 10 more levels. But one thing I can do now, actually I could do in a, a little while ago, is let me see what do I have as. A shield set. Because this will give me HP ally shield for three turns. So instead of actually putting on Armiger, I should put on her. Let me see what she got. She got defense, I can throw that on Armiger. If I have boots, what I don't. Okay. Let's see, HP. Not too bad, let me use the full set. Let me equip her. Boom, and normal, uh, normal campaign is completed. So that's another mission uh, we would have to complete. Now with that, you get a uh, Void Shard that I, this one I'm not going to open anytime soon. Then again, I said the same about the other ones. So I could come in here and start leveling, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go up to hard. Try to complete as many missions as I can right now while leveling my guys. Now, always remember I'm gonna be using six instead of four energies but long term this should be fine actually i can probably remove this guy and let the three of them pretty much level by themselves so he's not actually stealing energy all right so finally progress mission done that took forever uh, leveling those guys to 40 in low campaign levels is extremely tiring. All right, so clear stage one of Spider Dan, normal, hard. Definitely not hard. <coughs> and all right, level 25. One more mission in the bag. This complete, reach bronze 2, and clear stage 7. And I get a beautiful 300, and right now, so at this point, I could actually get the masteries for Kyle, what is great. So, but I'm gonna hold on for tomorrow's video, we're gonna look, so I can look a little bit in depth with you guys. Uh, let's get this, let's get that. Stage 5 or higher of Ice Golem's Peak. 
to 10 times normal hard. All right, so this I will leave for the next video. <laughs> this took a very long time, the most because leveling those guys. So you guys probably tired as well. Anyway, I hope you guys appreciate. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we cleared the first phase of the Arbiter series. So now try to complete the second phase tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the game.